an electron microscopic image of the skeletal muscle this is another question which is frequently being asked electron microscopic image of this one and uh, the junctional complex is being asked if you look at the previous paper so this is a skeletal muscle guys here is the z band and there is the another z band that you can see in there and you know the between the two z band between the two z band is a sarcomere the functional unit of the the skeletal muscle sarcomere it stretches from one z band to the another z band here look at this zone which is the one which i'm marking here this is called as an n isotropic band or a band you know this is called as a a band or an isotropic band which is actually also representing the length of the myosin filament and is also representing this a band represents the length of the myosin filament this line here is the m line the one that you see exactly in the center of the sarcomere that is a m line and there are two more area that you should know guys this band here the one which is isotropic look at this lightly stained region this is an i band isotropic band or i band and here is the overlapping area this is uh, non overlapping area so this one here this is what you call as a h zone i'm sure you all read about the sliding filament theory the question here is one they could ask you that sarcomere extends from where to where so z band to z band the middle part is m, uh, the h line myosin filament is represented by what it is by the a band actin filament are represented by the i band and more because it's not only i band is not only the uh, actin filament we have there is more which is um, involved in the forming the a band also now the question is during the contraction of a skeletal muscle out of all these bands and zones and line which are here the one which will reduce in size are one is the h zone and the other will be the i band so that's that's a point worth noting here that h zone and this one h zone and i band they will actually reduce during contraction i'll just write them. they reduce during contraction of a skeletal muscle so this is about electron microscopic image of a sarcomere and some zone and band that you should know about okay moving on to the slide number 3 guys slide number 3 is a slide of the cardiac muscle it is a slide of the cardiac muscle some typical features of the cardiac muscle you will see the first of all if you look at the nuclei we have a round or oval you can say round or oval central nucleus we have a round or oval central nucleus whereas in case of skeletal muscle we have a flat and peripheral central nu uh, peripheral nucleus not the central round and oval central nucleus we have in case of skeletal muscle and flat and peripheral in case of the uh, in in, the, in case of cardiac muscle and flat and peripheral in case of these skeletal muscle just like skeletal muscle they also have cross striations cross striations cross striation is a main feature of the skeletal muscle we do have a cross striations in the cardiac muscle also but they are faint they are not as prominent as in case of the the skeletal muscle here another feature that is not uh, there in the skeletal muscle is and present in the cardiac muscle is the branching you can see these we have the branching of these skeletal muscle fibers uh, the sorry cardiac muscle fiber skeletal muscle fiber they are parallel running bundles they do not branch but the cardiac muscle fiber they do branch as well and the one probably the most important thing here is you can see i'm just marking one two all these what are these these are the intercalated disc this one here is the intercalated disc and basically intercalated disc it it occurs exactly at the z line of the cardiac muscle just like skeletal muscle even cardiac muscle is having a z line so that z line of cardiac muscle is represented by the the intercalated disc if i tell you a bit more about this uh, intercalated disc guys this i'm writing icd intercalated disc 
the type of junctional complex which are present at this at this intercalated disc is we have fascia adherence here we got fascia adherence we got desmosomes and we also have gap junction the most important that gap junction and this gap junction they can ask this question that what type of junctional complexes are present in the intercalated disc of a cardiac muscle so we have a fascia adherence we have a desmosome and gap junction and this gap junction is the one which allows which allows the passage of ions from one cell to another that is done by this gap junction only and which can, which will lead to the depolarization which will lead to the depolarization of muscle of the cardiac muscle so basically i can say that gap junction are forming the functional syncytium between the two muscles that's what we say in cardiac muscle that the two uh, cells that are connected to each other by the functional syncytium and that functional syncytium is formed by what by the gap junction which allows the passage of the ion from one cell to the another so these are the features of the cardiac muscle that's a feature of the cardiac muscles in there